Hello everyone, I'm Crime Blue Jay here, back with another video of the another story too. Okay, so where we left off last time, Bonnie left the peace via a convention with Alex. So, um, that's where we kind of left off, and for some reason, the Freddy, like, unnamed Freddy, but it's Molten Freddy, um, from what I can tell, um, hasn't attacked Alex yet, and James and Ray, which are like the two antagonists of the story, um, haven't actually like shown themselves. I think we seen James in the last game. Um, while in this one, it, I I think it's the same James. If not, it could be like a different James. Um. But those two want Molten Frank to kill Alex, or to take out Alex, I should say. We also learned that Alex had like a prosthetic arm. Um, so, and we also kind of pondered on the idea whether or not a Shadow Bonnie is um, an AI of sorts, I guess. Okay, so, um, yeah, so that's where we left off. So as always, if um, you like this series and want to see more, um, I would highly recommend you like the video, subscribe, and click the notification bell. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So um, Zemo was surprised when she saw Bonnie, but she quickly pulled herself together and began to make sure that Bonnie didn't do anything. As soon as Bonnie was in my house, she immediately began to carefully inspect it. Zima followed her everywhere. Even though I told her that this could not be done, she did not listen to me, saying at the same time that this was her job. Alice sat down on the sofa and began to watch by with a smile. Though she was tired during the night, she was in no hurry to go to bed. For some reason, it seems to me that now we will not rest. You're exaggerating. I think she should be given one of the rooms upstairs. Yes, we seem to have two free. Hey, Bonnie. She stopped and looked at me. You can choose your room upstairs. The one that is not occupied, of course. Thanks. She happily ran upstairs. I think now is the time to do what you've been wanting to do for so long. I think you're right. Okay, Alex. I'm not sh so not used to staying up all night, so I'm not going to sleep, which means you're going to. She got up from the sofa, but I didn't let her take a step. Alex, wait. I took the ring out of my pocket and showed it to her. She looked at him in surprise. I got down on one knee in front of her with a smile. Um, is this... Alice, will you marry me? She was so surprised at first, but she was quickly overjoyed and hugged me. Oh my god, of course! Of course I'll marry you. Boy, who was running upstairs a few moments ago, something steps in the with a smile. Congrats! To be continued. Wait. <laughs> it's only three minutes in the video. Oh god. I I kinda thought this would happen. Um, okay. We'll, we'll see what's going on here. Okay. So, I, I... 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 Huh. Okay. I stood on the edge of the hill, and I looked at the say that was in the distance. I can't remember the last time I put all my business aside. I just admired the beauty of the world. Speaking of the world, I noticed Alex, Alice, and Bonnie coming out of the building. I watched them for a while, then turned to my interlocutor who appeared just a second ago. Did you do? I asked. I I think I overdid it, though. Explain. As you said at first, Alex thought he was going crazy, but he quickly realized that I was not his hallucination at all. Did you tell him the truth? No, I said I'd tell him later. We'll do it when you see fit. In any case, you have fulfilled your destiny. What will happen to me? I don't need her anymore, but I don't intend to get rid of her. She took a few steps to sit next to me. Then the two of us watched Alex and his company get ready to leave. Can I go with him? Do you want to save Alex? She didn't answer. I looked at her again and looked away. Of course, if everything goes wrong, I can fix it like I already did once. Wait. What does... Wait, what does he mean by if it's uh, like he did once? Huh. Okay. Besides, what can happen if she stayed with him? 
And if she didn't unfit to do it, I could just delete her. Okay, you can go with them. Now you're on your own. I will not control you or guide you in any way. If only now you'll look after Alex. Let them live quietly for a while. And then what will happen? It's not my fingers, and the man appeared a few steps away from me. I think now he will be one of their problems. And what can this man do that others can't? Let's just say he has the same power as you. So I think such an opponent will be much more interesting than a simple human. Hmm, okay. We'll be interested to see what happens. Turns towards the same point that Alex and the Eagle stand next to them. They're your target. Do what you think is right, but don't kill them. Sorry to not do the time runs out on this watch. I hand him the watch. Taking the watch, he looked at the time on it. I put the time there equal to one week, maybe a little less. After that, he nodded and disappeared. The important thing is that Alex is in big trouble now. Okay, go with Alex. Looking at me, she smiled and disappeared. If I didn't make the mistake of letting her go. Continued to stand on the small hill outside the city. By my room, the sun had already risen. Although it should have been, it should have been so dark. I sat down on the ground and bent my knees. Now only I can watch how it all turns out. I really hope Alex won't do anything stupid, especially now. Pray this will the way I meant I want it to be. Seems to me that it is close to reality, but some things still don't look like reality. The Keeper, why he calls that? I can do whatever I want in this world and no one will tell me anything, although no, I'm not warned about that. The patron can stop me. I have met other Keepers. No one has ever seen a patron. They say that those Keepers who got into the patron did not return anymore. The patron has established certain rules of conduct for the Keepers. No one dares to violate them. I feel the presence of someone else in my world. Well, I wonder who it is. Getting to my feet and shaking myself off, I close my eyes and snap my fingers. Second layer, a silent guest would appear behind me. I turned around and looked at the guest. The red frog had already dissipated and the man was standing in front of me. Well, hello, Volt. Do I know you? I don't think it doesn't matter. What are you doing here? He went a few steps and stopped at the edge of the hill. It's pretty cozy here. It would be a pity something happens to your world. Tell me everything as it is. Why did you come to me? To warn you, Volt, the patron is unhappy with your actions. You're breaking some rules. If you continue, you will insert to the patron. The patron has special servants who go to the worlds of other keepers. You don't look like one of them. You're right, Volt. I'm not one of them. So you're lying to me. Get out of my world. The man damn bunch. So everything will change, Volt. I hope that you will be on the right side. It's not important as time. Let's even say a lot. When we are ready, your world will be ours, and other worlds too. Even the patron can stop us. What are you talking about? Centuries may pass, but you understand when everything happens. The man turned around and looked at me. He said something else, but I didn't hear what exactly he said to me. He went through a kind of pole and opened behind him. Um. I was alone again. There was no other heapers in my world besides me. Guardian makes his own way of moving. This person uses pole. I use a thick red mist. Seems this keeper has brought me a threat. What he meant, which side should I take? Seems to me it's better to find out from him. But I just don't want to know what pole he's from. I may have to ask for help or just find out about this keeper. Snapping my fingers, I turned around into the red mist. I came out of the fog and kind of a shop. It probably looks more like a tavern, spheres, or some potions. I think I got into the fantasy world. Or at least it still reminds me of the Middle Ages. I wonder how the um people around me will answer me. I can make all the inhabitants of this world see me, but unfortunately, unfortunately, I cannot influence this world in any way, as well as change anything in it. Though if the keeper is not in this world, then I can make minor changes. I need to check it right now, but I don't want to spoil anything or change this world in any way. So I couldn't have the weapon closet closest to me. I tried to literally, but nothing came out. So the keeper of this world is in this world. Well, okay, I didn't really want to. But I still want to check the reaction of the surrounding characters, so I think I can become visible for a short time. As soon as I became a part of this world, I was immediately noticed by the seller of this institution. Oh, the customer. I'm sorry, I didn't notice you coming in. Welcome to Silver Club. Here you'll find the best equipment in the whole kingdom. Yes, yes, of course. You won't say that. Then weapon breaks at the most inopportune moment. I guarantee you the quality of the weapons and armor that you'll find here. We'll see. As I thought, they take me as an inhabitant of this world. 
To some extent, it's even funny. I wonder those, whose wall I should be playing now. Someone was silent while well, I was slowly spent to these one their goods. You're an assassin, aren't you? Excuse me? You hide your face behind the wood, hood. You have problems with the law, right? I can assume you're either an ordinary thief. He reached under the car, right down to as a firing one there. Or an assassin, am I right? Without being distracted by him, I saw near the arrows and took one of them in my hands. Even so, I don't care what you do next. Damn, you have to watch your words. Something unusual happens because me, like some kind of battle or something similar, then I will break on the rules of the patron. Well, as long as you... At this time, someone else came into the room. At first, he didn't pay attention to me, but then, hiding be without hiding his interest, he looked directly at me. I, I don't think I know you. Although, I know almost everyone in this part of town. You can't know everyone. I went close to man and looked him up and down. First thing I noticed was his crossbow. Interesting. Where's your crossbow? For how much did you sell it to me? Crossbow has no price. It's not for sale. Everything has a price. The man looked at me up and down, and to look into my eyes, he stared into the void in bewilderment. You're standing right from me. Why can't I see your face? It looks like he's an assassin. I'm sure it's some kind of spell. I think I better get out of here. I'll be back some other time. Fisherman with my show I went to that says something from the door and I have turned to him. Interesting. Maybe I will find a contract to eliminate you. It's not my finger is that which I stopped being in this world. Before no one saw me anymore. I did not make them forget about me. I was meant to stay in suspense. When it found enveloped me, I just closed my eyes. So where am I now? And why the hell can I move in the ones I already know? Does the keeper tell me the truth or shit to me for moving in is part of his plan? Anyways. I don't give up so easily. So now, so now I need to understand where I ended up. To look around and make sure that no one nearby and I took off my disguise. I don't that anyone will see me here. I'm in the middle of a fucking forest. I went a little through the forest and found nothing. No say or anything like that. No living creatures, an empty forest. Well it seems that there's nothing for me to do here. Right behind right before I want to leave this world, I thought I heard something behind me. When I turned around, I didn't see anyone, but it was definitely a sound. No matter, there was nothing else to me right. At that moment, a black mass fell from the tree and ran from me. I took a step and looked back. There was no one on the tree. I took another look at this black mass and noticed how it was slowly moving in my direction. Then I took another step back. This black shit started to change. Literally, ten seconds later, there was some kind of monster in front of me. What the hell are you? Only now I notice that a similar thing that stands in front of me is also behind me. You know what? I think it's time for me. I don't know if you understand me or not. I stand to like both for me and these monsters. A woman jumped out of the nearest bushes and cut one of the monsters that they had half of the sword. Hmm. It's not my fingers and stopped being visible to others. She didn't even look at me. That's good. I turned around and slowly walked into the fog. I came out of the fog and looked around some kind of building. A painfully familiar building. Now to make sure that no one else sees me, I set my fingers once again and completely moved into this world. Whoever was the keeper of this world, he had to feel my appearance. Still not understand what kind of world I found myself in, I entered the first room I came across. It seems to me there is a mingle in the room. I have a few guesses who might be the keeper, I find out soon enough. I was going to go and wait for the keeper to find me, but something attracted to me attracted me to this room. Some man began then ran to pass the mingle. And some other guys trying to protect her. Well, it's not my business. Although well, maybe it's worth helping. We did this keep and plan everything like that. I wonder if he even knows what's going on happening. Well, what's going on right now? Okay, I'll help. But I need to make sure that help look like an accident. What can I do here so it's not clear why I did? I left the room and walked towards forward at a brisk pace. By chance, the manager of this institution turned out to be nearby. Passing by him, I casually said to him. Certainly not my business, but I think Mingle is in trouble. What? In what sense? Go and see yourself. I advise you to hurry up, otherwise an unpleasant situation may happen, and extremely ridiculous. Don't say anything else. I went on. After a couple of seconds, I heard him go somewhere at a brisk pace. Most I knew where he went. I wonder how much more time has to pass, too. Someone suddenly took off my head. Quickly put it back and turned around. I knew it was him, and I was hoping it was just my imagination. You, though. Know. Walt. We just sat at each other in silence for a while. Okay, we can stand like this indefinitely, I suppose. 
You're right to the point. Why are you there in my world? I kind of didn't ask for help. Maybe you don't need my help right now. But you did need my help one day, didn't you? Look at your baby. Thanks to her, she is lifeless. Yes, yeah, so and thanks to whom you did your world at least partially begin to resist. Okay, okay. One one. By the way, when I was walking to um to this place, it seemed to have slightly changed the course of events that you had there. Here, please tell me what you didn't do it the way you usually do. Don't worry, everyone's alive. At least they should be alive. Seems to me that this guy couldn't do anything to that man, so I decided. Wait a minute, the guy? Hmm. Yeah, the one that was near. The mangle? I don't know how to explain it to you. There were a lot of them there. In general, he looks 14 years old, so then... If I understand what you're talking about, then he's 20 years old. Really? But he doesn't look like an adult, no matter. In general, this wanderer, or whatever his name is, went to sort out, so I think everything would be fine. The plan are all different, but okay. That would do too. You still have an answered question. Why did you come? I just got here by accident, if I may say so, but I see that there is no reason that why I came here, so I'll leave you. Maybe I'll see you again. With these words, he turned around and began to slowly enter the fog that came out of nowhere. He found his bed for some reason. You looking for something? For someone. Who is that what you're looking for? Maybe I can help somehow. No, so far, I don't fully understand everything myself, so I don't want to involve you in all of this. Tom said that he disappeared into the fog, and the fog after that and suddenly disappeared. <laughs> it, it's, it's literally just into the multiverse here. I haven't even seen that movie yet. <laughs> um, okay, this time, some kind of force. I wonder if it could happen that I accidentally stumbled into the world of the guy who threatened me. Looking around, I was about to leap for the next world, but I noticed that the woman sat on the bank and river and looked right at me. Of course, she looked through me since I was not in this world, but still somehow unusual, it feels like she really sees me. I took a few steps to the side and say how she followed my movement. This is strange. This is strange. I went back to my old place and she was still looking at me. It seems to me that she's also a keeper, but I can't explain it any other way. Well, okay. You won't get lucky. I to too and stood a few steps in front of her. She nodded at me and I looked into her eyes. Welcome. I hope you like it here. Yes, thank you. See, so you're one of the few keepers who participate in the life of their world, aren't you? May I ask how you understood this? Sure, it's rain right now, but it doesn't affect me any more than it does you. But your clothes are slightly wet. Nothing you will can affect you unless you participate in the events that are taking place. Yes, you're right. It's much more interesting to participate in what you create. Everyone has their own opinion. May I ask why you came to me? I'll tell you everything if you want, but can we go to more dry place? Of course, please follow me. To be contained, perhaps. The end. Okay, so we got a little prologue. Like, an, is it prologue or epilogue? Yeah, like a little prologue, epilogue type thing for the next game. So, I guess that kind of confirms um, that there will be a Fini Another Story 3, which is amazing. Because um, this game is really fun um, and all that. So, What's going on? Okay, so, um, Mr. Volt sent a, okay, so I was wrong. I was entirely wrong about Shadow Bonnie, non-AI. Okay, so throw that out of the window. She is a shadow, literally, of sorts, um, who was made, um, by Mr. Volt to basically acts as a way to influence events, I should say. Which is weird, because I feel like Keepers, which she is, I believe, can um, edit the world around them, change up events, and stuff like that. So, I wonder if he has full control of the world, or he can only influence the things going on in the world. Like, he's kind of a god of sorts. Um, so that's actually a very interesting concept, um, that is interesting because, um, in terms of, like, comparing games, Fania After Time compared to, like, Fania Another Story, Glitch Trap, um, like, is messing with the worlds and stuff, but technically my avatar, or, like, character sorts is controlling the world 
keeping like it's a simulation. Comparing it to Fania and the story uh, world, I would say that this is also a simulation of sorts, but the keepers can actually play a part in the story. So it's also kind of like how Marisu can go from like the world of Finia after time to like the real world and back and forth. If you've seen after time. So um it's a very interesting concept and I can't wait to see the next game whenever it comes out. I'm sure Mr. Vol will tell me more about it and keep me updated and keep you guys updated on when the game's about to go like is gonna come out. Um, if there ever is a third one. Um, so, it left us off with tons of questions, cliffhangers, and stuff like that. So, um, in the comments down below, just, um, tell me what you think about the game. Like, um, things that you found interesting, or, it, like, trying to, um, tell me what your theories are on the game, like, um, what might happen in the third one, and I might do a video, um, with those theories and stuff, so, uh, with that, um, have a good day, everyone. Also, um, beforehand, uh, before I end the video, if you like this series and want to see more, um, I would definitely recommend you like the video, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Also, um, a quick announcement for Finia After Time, also, I have all the voice actors, hopefully, and I should have all the voice lines here soon, so the demo for Finia After Time should be out real soon, and I really am excited to show you all, or er, to upload that onto Edge whenever the time comes, um, but um, no more information on that is not going to be providing this video. So, um, yeah, without further ado, have a good day, everyone.